editing is very important it's what's going to mean if your viewers are going to stick to your videos for longer yes your thumbnail brings people to your video but what keeps them is how you're able to edit your video in this video i will be showing you guys how i edit my youtube videos i've gotten a lot of requests from you guys to show you how i edit my youtube videos you're welcome grab your seat and let me show you how to make your videos more interesting how to add your transitions your thumbnails and all that and make it look more professional with just little work Hey Stella Stars, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how I edit my YouTube video. A lot of you have been asking me, Stella, show us how you edit your video, what app do you use, and all that. I'm going to be showing you that in this video. If you're on YouTube, you know that editing is very important. It depends on your style. If you like very fast videos, if you like slow videos, you can edit your videos to meet your preference. But for me, as you can see from my videos, I like my videos to be very interesting, to be very fast paced so people are not bored or sleeping watching my video you get it so i will be showing you how i edit my youtube videos how i put in my transitions how i put in my text and all that things that just make my video a little bit different from every other person's video let me start by showing you everything i use to edit my video before going into the editing proper i will be editing one of my videos for you guys before this editing video should be up this one too should be up i just finished filming it the software i use is imovie i use imovie to edit all my youtube videos for my thumbnail i use canva if you guys want to see how i edit my thumbnail let me know down in the comment section as well i'll be glad to show you that so guys what i basically do is once i move my videos off from my phone i film on my phone if you want to know how to get the phone of course you can get it on amazon and my link is down in my description box go and check out the link the link for my tripod also is in my description box go and check that as well i use the boya mic to film all my videos so if you also want to get the boya mic it's very inexpensive even the tripod i'm using is from fujitech it's very inexpensive as well look down in my description box you're going to see a link that's going to take you to all the gears i use to film my youtube video i edit on my computer and i use the macbook computer and the software i use is called imovie everybody knows that it comes free with my computer so i didn't need to buy any expensive um, editing software once i film on my phone i airdrop it into my computer and i have it here this is all the clip i have here this video is actually going to be up on sunday before this one i'm filming so go check that out the first thing i like to do is to expand the clip by bringing it here with this i'm able to see the breaks and what to cut off and what to, it gives me a more broader space to work with here i'm not doing anything i usually cut all this part off like all this place i'm not doing anything all these parts of the video that i don't talk or i'm not doing anything i call them off the places i fumble and mumble i call them off the places i take long pauses i call them off to make my video smooth and run faster so that's what I'm going to do now. So sometimes if I don't want to cut, I still just drag it and shrink it like this, you see? So if I'm not cutting, I do that. So guys, basically that's what I do at the beginning stage. So this is what I do. I go around, I go through all the clip and I cut and I split and I cut and I take it off. Those long pauses, I take them off. That is what I So for my intro, I put an intro after my main video intro. Like I introduce what the video is about. Then I like to put an intro, customized intro. And I already have all that on my iMovie. That's one thing I love about iMovie. It helps you store some of your files. So this is the intro and you can see how it is so yeah that's my intro and I used to put transitions on my intro the transition I use most often for my intro is this fade to white and I put it just before my intro because I like the way it fades it from my stuff to white you see and here I put after the intro I like to put fade to black so this one melts into the main video and you see it like this once I've done that, what I do next, I try to see all these things. I need to cut them off, but I'll do that later. So there's something I used to add at the beginning of my intro. If you watch my videos, it's like a green screen, but it has this camera record something, something, you know. I'll show you what that is. And this is how it is. And I got it from YouTube. So you just need to go to YouTube in the search box, record green screen. And you're going to see that. So I'll just come here and split this up. So we have 
the green screen and this is how the green screen looks i like to use my record green screen for just the introduction part of the video so i'd like to take off the audio because it has an audio sound to it that i don't like it so i'll take that off i will blend it into the video so see how i blend it you see this very important tool so we're going to come now to these tools i'll tell you what each of these things are used for and the ones i use most often so this one is used for this kind of stuff like if you have a green screen like this and you want to blend it into your video you just do green slash blue screen and you see it's going to blend into your video so that is what this one is for what i like to do is i just like to split it i don't know i feel it's it is better that way i like to split it to the size of the clip it's occupying so i just feel it's better that way you know see yeah I like to split it like that this one is for cut away for instance if you want to cut something off or some split sc screen if you want to have like two screens the same picture in picture if you're like importing a picture and you want to place it on the video you have to use this picture in picture so what i mostly use here is this auto white balance sometimes if my video is not very bright i like to use the auto white balance and what it does is it gives your video a very white you can see how it brightens this video right so you just keep clicking you see different shade and tones you choose the one that is best for your color so that's what i do for that video i use the auto white balance to make my video more popping and brighter um, the one i use most often is this one you can color correct your video for instance you want to add more saturation you click that you want to add a little bit more brightness you click that sometimes i don't even do much i don't really do anything to all these things because sometimes my video come out very well so this is like what i might do maybe sometimes my video come out very well like when i shoot them the lighting is good everything is just perfect so with that i don't really need to add any color correction if i want to make this clip pop more since it's just coming from this transition i need it to pop more what i do is i'll click on it and i'll go on this crop this is called crop and i'll click on this crop to fill then i will crop it here so it pops out more on my face so this is how it's going to be and you see it just pops you out more video, guys. so you see how it is like i just popped out and this other one is still normal i didn't i didn't apply the effect to this other one so that's why it out and came back in so that's just the effect i was trying to go with that so once i do that i still like to like play around with my my let it play then i can come here and once i want to emphasize on something just as you can see my face here looking like i like to still do the same and another one i use very often is the can burn burn it tends to give you this dramatic feel and um we go here and you see where it starts it's going to start there and where you want it to end so i want it to focus on me to start from like the usual video size itself and focus on me do you see how it came back to me so and when i do that i don't know how to explain it i'm just telling you what i do so i hope you guys are getting me and i don't really use this this is supposed to be like a of stabilization i don't use stabilization if my volume is too high how do you know your volume is too high if you start having like red lines here a lot of red line then you know that clip is very high you need to turn it down and you can come here and turn down the clip the volume but here i don't do this to reduce the background i don't do that as well speed i don't really use a lot of um, time lapse in my videos if you've checked so i don't really use that all this use i really use them and i want to apply whatever i do here to this clip or to another clip what i do is for instance you can see that i color corrected just this clip and i haven't added them to all this clip so what i would do is i'll click on the clip i want to take the color from and it will copy it and then i'll click on the one i want to apply the color corrections let me say i want to apply color correction to this clip this clip is beautiful i don't need color correction but let's just say we want to apply color correction here i'll go back to here it's edit and i'll go paste adjustment and if you want to paste everything you can just click on all and the color correction the crop the volume the clip filter every effect you've applied here on that particular clip you copied will be automatically pasted on the other one 
so guys when we've done all that what i like to add also in my video is text i like to add text i like to add transitions i like to add um sounds all those things make your video more interesting and make it more engaging people can like literally stay longer on your video when you have all these things in place so what i do is once i've added this transition i like to like watch my video and wherever i'm taking a break or i want to take a break i just add a transition for instance once i do my after my introduction and i do another introduction i can just come here and add transition and the one i usually use mostly for this part is my slide to right here i just take it and i keep it here wherever i want it to be and this is how it's going to look like Oh my god, you just slide the clip to the right and brings in another one, so that's what it does. And once I do that, I like to add sound to it. So, the sound I use most often is bottle cork, and I just take it and put it here. You can see it goes smoother now. Mash. Oh my. Do you hear that sound? Boom. So it just pops like that. Sometimes I like to take down the volume. Sometimes I leave it like that. And everywhere in my video, I just like to put transition. Sometimes I put this other transition. Um, I put this cross dissolve. I just like to dissolve a clip into another clip if I don't want to make a very huge like difference, you know? Like this one goes like this. Mash just like it disappeared and you know just faintly i just like to put that and sometimes i actually reduce the effect of the transitions to like 0 0.7 the transition can be very fast or slower whatever so i like to re reduce it so it's faster and not too noticeable that there is a transition in my video if you know what i mean so guys basically i think that's all i do those are most of the transitions i use then at the end of my video i usually add my end screen i already have that customized yeah just to say this if you want to see how i make end screens anything you want to see thumbnails end screen anything you want to see um the transition i use for my end screen is this fade to black i like to add it here and i do the same thing at the end of the end screen so at the end of the end screen we have just a black blank space like this so this is how it looks like that's how it looks like so when I, once i've done all that i've finished everything like that hopefully that's what i do so even if i want to add maybe like subscribe in my video maybe i want to add subscribe at the let me say at the beginning part i used to have the subscribe green screen here just waiting just in case i need it to pop somewhere i'll just um, add it here and make sure to see when it's coming out and when it's you know so this is it i like to cut it off i'm looking at the arrow to see when it's actually coming out and when it's clicking on the subscribe so that's when you guys subscribe and just to say that subscribe now <laughs> subscribe if you haven't subscribed and the audio i usually use is the same thing i like to use bottle cork or i like to use this other audio that i got from um youtube of course you can download anything on YouTube. Like youtube is the bomb there's everything on youtube you don't need to stress yourself anywhere like download everything on youtube so i have this other one i downloaded so i used to go use that one as well it's mouse click what we do with our green screen is you come here you take this green slash blue screen click on it automatically you can see it melts everything into your video and you have just a subscribe button showing and the last thing i used to do for my video is to add the sound or the music or audio whatever you call it so the one i go to most often is this very calm thank you i usually take my music from thematic sound so if you're looking for a good place to take your music that would not maybe give you any copyright problem and all that you can use thematic the only thing is i think you have to put them the, the music and everything the link in your description box which i already did in my own description box so you can go there and check all my sounds that i use in my video and copy them if you want them and use them as well but always make sure you register with them and also get your own customized link to those songs so you don't get into trouble so usually i like to bring out the sound of my audio to maybe 30 if it's my intro i like it a little bit louder then i like to um fade it in a little bit and here fade it out a little bit as well so this is what we have here 
So yeah, so here now I fade in the same thing and I fade out but for this part of the video because I want you guys to hear me I like to take it down to like two or three so at the end the same thing you remember what I told you guys right you fade it in and you fade it out because you don't want your video or your music to be so blunt like at the end basically that's what i do for my video and once i finish doing all this i just export it now there's one thing i usually add to that i haven't showed you guys is text so the text i use most often is i like this one the focus lower third so this is how this one looks like whatever you write is going to be at this side of the video for instance let's say text here text here and the font i like to use for my text is most times i like to use georgia but if i don't use georgia i always go for helvetica new bold finish i click on this place and i export it directly to youtube some people advise that you should export it to your file on your computer like this one before taking it to youtube but because i don't have that patient like I don't so I just take it directly to YouTube and it's very easy for me that way so guys that is all I do for my YouTube videos so guys we've come to the end of this video I hope you found it very helpful if you have any question or anything you don't understand you want me to emphasize more let me know down if you're watching this video and you have not subscribed come on join the star family subscribe to my channel and also like my video till I see you guys in my next one bye for now Thank <laughs> you.